Using the navigation menu across the bottom of the screen, the second tab you will see is the Chart tab. This shows you the chart for the last selected market. You can see the market ticker symbol being currently shown in the top left corner of the chart window. To open the chart for a different market, just head back over to the Quotes tab, click the ticker symbol of the market you want to see, and then press the Open Chart option. This will take you back to the Chart tab, but it will now show you the market you just selected. You can also press the icon that looks like a dollar sign across the top of the chart window, and this will show a simple list of all the markets on your Quotes tab. You can use this menu to quickly change the chart screen market. If the market you are looking for isn't on this list, you will need to add it to the Quotes tab list, as demonstrated earlier. Next to the market ticker symbol is the time frame notation. As you can see on screen, this is currently showing M5, which means we are looking at a 5 minute chart. To change the time frame of the chart, just press the clock icon across the top of the chart window. This will then show a list of different available time frames from 1 minute to 1 month. Just select the time frame you want to see, and the chart will change to the selected time frame. Below this, you should be able to see four numbers. These numbers are the open, high, low, and close prices for current candle. You will see them changing as the current candle develops. The chart type will be set to candlestick by default. The chart will show the price scale on the right hand side and the time scale along the bottom of the chart. If you want to change the chart type, press the sidebar menu button in the top left hand corner of the screen, then press the settings button. Under the chart's headline, the first option you will see is line type. Press this and you'll be given the options of bar chart, candlestick and line chart. Just select the chart type you want and the chart window will change to this type. The chart window allows on-chart indicators and standalone indicators in separate windows below the chart. By default, you should see an RSI indicator in the window below and a moving average indicator on the chart itself. You can add and remove indicators by pressing the F symbol across the top of the chart window. This will bring up the indicator screen. Here you will be able to see the indicators that are currently applied to the chart window. By default, you should see a moving average under the main chart headline and the relative strength index or RSI under the indicator window 1 headline. To add a new indicator to the chart, press the F plus symbol next to the main chart headline. Then select the indicator you want to add. This will then bring up the settings window for that indicator. Once you are happy, just press Done in the top right corner and the indicator will be added to the chart window. Using the MACD as an example, you will see that the MACD indicator will be added in a separate window below the RSI indicator. You can also add more than one indicator to individual indicator window if needed. To do this, press the F plus symbol next to the indicator window you want to add an extra indicator to, and then select the indicator you want to add. For example, if we wanted to add the MACD to the RSI indicator window, we can press the F plus symbol next to the indicator window 1 headline, then select MACD and this would add the MACD over the RSI indicator. This is helpful when working with a small screen on a mobile device, but can make reading each indicator difficult. You can amend the settings of any active indicators by opening the indicator window by pressing the F symbol across the top of the chart window. Then simply press and hold on the indicator you want to amend. This will give you the option to edit the indicator or delete it. Press Edit and the settings window for that indicator will open. Again, just press Done in the top right corner of the screen when you are happy. You can choose the crosshair tool to inspect the chart with more precision. To use this tool, press the crosshair icon across the top of the chart window. This will then turn the crosshair cursor on. You can now drag the crosshair anywhere on the chart to see price levels, times, and the open, high, low, close prices for the selected candle. Just press the crosshair icon again to turn this off. Pressing the Drawing Tools icon 
will bring up a menu of different available drawing tools. These are separated into different categories labeled Lines, Channels, GAN, Fibonacci, Elliott, and Shapes. To add any of these to your chart window, press the tool you want to add, and it will take you back to the chart window. Let's add a simple horizontal line as an example. Then simply press on the chart window where you want to add the tool. If you press and hold while adding the tool, you can drag and place it where required. A small box will also appear in the top left corner, showing a magnified view of where your finger is pressing so you can accurately place the tool where you want it. Once you are happy, just raise your finger from the screen. If you need to adjust the tool, you can press and hold it again to move it again. Just make sure the tool is selected before doing this. You can see if the tool is selected as it will display small black dots either side of the line or on whichever tool you are using. If these are not showing, just tap the tool and they should appear. Once selected, you can then adjust the tool. You can enter a trade directly from the chart window by clicking the New Order button in the top right corner of the screen. This will open the Market Order screen. At the top of the screen, you will see the ticker symbol and market name of the market you are about to trade. This will be the same market you were looking at on the previous chart window. If you want to change this market, you can either go to the Quotes tab, tap the market you want to trade, and press New Order. Or in the Market Order screen, you can press the dollar symbol in the top right of the screen and choose from a list of markets from your Quotes tab. Underneath the market symbol, you will see the order type. For more on placing orders, please watch our Placing Orders video.